What's up? It's Mallory Patrice from here on YouTube, and you are currently watching Awesomeness TV. So I don't know if you guys have seen all over social media these New York rainbow bagels Damn. Uh. that people have been waiting an hour and a half to two hours in line for. I mean, I don't live in New York, so I thought that I would show you guys how to make these bagels at home DIY style. If you enjoy this video and you want to see more content that I create, make sure to click down in the description box the link to my channel so that you can go over and subscribe. But for now, let's get on with this video. Okay guys, so the first thing that we need to do to make our dough for our bagels is prepare our yeast. And you're going to add one cup of warm water to a bowl along with four teaspoons of active dry yeast and then three tablespoons of granulated sugar. Now make sure you do not mix this just yet. What you're going to do is just sit it aside for about 10 to 15 minutes while you prepare your flour. And for your flour, you are going to need seven cups of bread flour and then you're going to need three teaspoons of salt. And with this mixture, you can go ahead and mix it all together, make sure that you do a great job, and then set that aside and grab your yeast mixture that you made previously. After your 10 to 15 minutes is up, you can grab your yeast mixture and you can go ahead and stir it. And you wanna stir it to where it looks like this frothy consistency. And then you're going to grab your bread flour mixture that you had set aside and you want to make like a well in the middle of it because we are not using a mixer. We are going to do this by hand. So you're going to add in two third cups of warm water and then on top of that you're going to add in your yeast mixture. And you want to do this slowly and gradually. So you just want to pour it in and then slowly add in your flour so that you can create like a dough consistency. And you're going to repeat this over and over again until your dough comes together. Now that your dough has been mixed together, you're going to want to knead it for about 10 minutes until it gets nice and smooth. Then you're going to take a knife and we're going to cut six pieces out of our dough. And you wanna make sure that they're relatively the same size. Then you're just going to place them on a plate or in a bowl and make sure you lay on top of it a damp towel so that your dough doesn't dry out. You can grab your food coloring. I would definitely suggest using gel food coloring because it is the most vibrant in color. And then you're just going to dye each individual piece. Now, since I'm using my hands, I'm definitely going to suggest that you wear gloves so that you don't stain your hands. And then make sure that you knead it as well as you can so that the color is all over. Then you take your dough, place it into a bowl or on a plate, and you wanna cover it with saran wrap so that it doesn't dry out. And you're going to do this with all of your colors that you have, and after about an hour, your dough will rise. One hour later. Now that our dough has doubled in size, we are going to unwrap it and punch it. Yes, I said punch it, because we need to get all of the air pockets out. Then you're going to take a rolling pin and just, you know, roll it out to a good size. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you're going to do this with every single color. And once you're done with one layer, you're going to place it on top of the other layer and just repeat this until you have done it with all of your pieces of dough. Once you have layered your colors, then you are going to cut off about one inch wide strips and then take that strip and just twist it so that the colors intertwine and then join the ends together and make sure that they are secure so that your bagel does not fall apart. And then your bagel should end up looking something like this. Next, we are going to take a boiling pot of water and we are going to boil the bagels for about 30 seconds on each side. Now, if you want your bagel to be chewier, then you will boil it for a longer amount of time. Then after you have boiled the bagel, you're going to place it in the oven for 20 minutes at 425 degrees. Once that is done, you can take them out and your bagels are ready to go.
enjoyed the video. If you recreate these rainbow style bagels, make sure to tag me via social media and I will see you guys later. Bye! I'm getting ready for the party.